Moving on to diagnostics, the future is kind of here already. You know, you can calculate your pace of aging as well as identify strong causes of why you're aging. But it is a little bit clunky, you know, having to provide a blood spot card, send it off and wait two, three weeks for results. I think in the future, you're gonna have something similar to, you know, CGM, continu continuous glucose monitoring, but doing a monitoring for epigenetic aging. It's having the precision there to be able to pick up that change of rate of aging. At the present, you know, it can, it can be detected even within a week of like methylation patterns, but it's something using like the Danundin Pace, it, uh, there is a 4% tolerance in there. So that's why people generally do it, like they say like eight weeks of positive changes. Some people like Brian Johnson even do it monthly. Using blood spot cards will remain the norm for quite some time for doing a wide array of epigenetics, but doing a rate of aging, I think that will be able to be transmitted potentially over the cloud using some kind of continuous monitor or just requiring say just one drop of blood like with a glucose test 